Okay, I did it. Managed to get the energy to go to the gym. Going to do upper body workout today. Oh, it's hot. I missed the weather when I was studying in the UK. Oof. Much prefer the colder weather. Ooh! Coming in fast. As I said, yeah. Much prefer the colder weather than this heat and humidity. At least there's aircon in the gym. Are we good? I think we're good. It sounds a bit squeaky. Should be secure now. All right. You good? You good. Okay, good. <laughs> All right, let's go. I have one of those things I can like stick onto the window and stuff, but so much of, an ha of a hassle to, to, to put on. But I'm sorry if uh, it ends up being a little bit too shaky than usual. Try my best. Drive like the initial D driver. The one where he had like a, a glass of water in a cup holder and then going through the corners without spilling it. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> so today's workout, probably gonna be about an hour or so. Aiming to hit probably about three chest exercises, three back workouts. And I'm doing a push-pull set. So chest and back, chest and back, chest and back. It helps me to optimize my training by whenever I do like a push, push muscle group, it helps to release and ease tension on the pull muscle group. And then by alternating it, I can proficiently structure my workout so that I can get the best out of each muscle group during my rest giving giving the chest muscle group a little bit of rest while I'm doing like the pull muscle group and likewise for the opposite side working about three to four sets for each of those supersets working with a about a rep range of 10 to 12 re uh, 12 10 to 12 reps for each set rest period of about 30 seconds to 60 seconds trying to work with the breath as well make sure making sure that each every movement is well connected to the breath just like how i do with my yoga practice not every rep is gonna be perfect but it's okay what matters is that you give it your best and go for as deep of a rep range as you can with deep breaths in between and if you can't hit those deep breaths in between while performing those exercises it's totally fine sometimes you hit when you're hit trying to hit failure for each rep or each set i mean sometimes it's gonna be difficult to maintain that full long deep breath right so it's okay if you can't just go with it and listen to the body if you need to breathe a little bit more go ahead if you need to breathe from the mouth instead of the nose it's totally fine as well i usually try and breathe in through the nose get more oxygen in i'm gonna be walking through the exercises today again as well as like how i did the leg muscle group the leg training a few days back some pointers here and there so if They'd like to join me you can do so as well for any kind of tips and more education more formal kind of educational content on the workouts i do or the training methods i will be sharing them in a separate video in a more structured format today's will be just more of a you know, follow along kind of video. So if you have any questions along the way as well, just keep them, 
jot it down and then uh, leave them in the comments so that I can get back to it later on after I post this video as well. If not, I'll see you in the gym. I hope it's not too crowded today, although most likely it's going to be crowded today because it's a Saturday and it's about 3.30 now. Most people will be the peak, peak time for the Saturday at this particular gym is around like 4 on a weekend as well. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. I just hope there's space for me to at least have uh, to do my exercises and to put the camera somewhere. So I'll see you in there. Ready to warm up those joints. And it helps a lot with preventing injuries, especially if you're going to be lifting heavy or pushing to your limits. Remember to do dynamic stretches and not full long holds of not long holds of stretching. Because you want to warm the muscles up, not really relax them. It's better to warm up more than less. Rotator cuffs. Really essential if you want to start building the strong foundation for your shoulders. Really explore the ends of the ranges. Give that time under tension. Making sure your elbows are raised to shoulder level. <sighs> I used to be competing, but I lost a lot of weight. So now I'm building back up again, so I just want to show like the progress from like real skinny to like, yeah, yeah. So it's probably going to be like a half a year kind of thing. So you probably see me like every week. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you are training for? Just training for building muscles. Building muscles, nice, nice. Basketball, okay, okay. So more sport specific. Yeah. Nice, nice. Usually on the first set, I don't mix it out. Second set onwards, I go for it. First set, I just want to warm up first. Here we go. Too short. I need to jump. Second set, here we go. 12 to 14 rep range. Here we go.
That's it. Here we go. If you're curious, I'm using 15 kg inside. Somebody took a pull-up bar I was using, so I gotta use this one. I prefer this one actually, it's a bit thicker, nicer to grip. about 8 to 10 reps with the 17.5 nice and controlled deep into the rep range for the full, feel the full leap stretch in the chest in the pectorals Six, six to eight. warm-up set for the flies it's expanding the range of my pectoral my shoulder that's what I'm gonna do keep this elbows slightly bent relax as much as you can definitely using a light weight or if you don't have the confidence to use any weight yet just go without the weight. Just let your arms swing all the way back. Release, release, release. Try and relax as much as you can. Touching the ground. Back up. 
Ooh. Let me move this under. Flat. There we And I usually try to exhale as I go down, breathe in when I come up. I usually do about 12 to 15 reps. And if you can't reach the ground, that's totally fine. Just go to whatever that is manageable for you. Just try to relax into it. That really helps a lot, because when you have that tension, it restricts you from going as far as you can into the range. Usually superset this with rows. So I'll make it up, hitting about 20. For the flies on this one, I usually, once I get into the heavier weight, I don't go all the way down. The first set is just for me to help me loosen up to exp expand into the ends of the range. And then from there, once I go heavier into the rail sets, then I'll stop usually three quarters to halfway, whatever I can manage with the weight. So remember, just listen to the body, see what you can. Each trap, I try and go deeper as long, as, as best as I can. Whew. All right, here we go. And it's not flat now, it's a little bit inclined because I'm trying to work on the slightly, work on the more on the upper chest. This one, I'm keeping my chest engaged. Not like the first set. Proper working set now. And, the fly, and for the flies, you don't exactly have to touch 
right at the top. The idea is to like keep the chest engaged when you go down and as you come up. And once you come to the top right in the middle, you kind of have a little bit of release over here. So I usually tend to stop just before I reach there so that I still hold on to the pecs and then start to go down and continue the set. Because the idea is, if you're looking at hypertrophy as the priority, you want to keep the blood, blood flow there and engaged. Okay, next. 12.5, here we go. Keep the back straight. Roll all the way to the back. Squeeze on the back. Control the weight down. Time under tension. Keep it engaged, stop there and go. Keep it engaged, stop there and go. fall about three months ago still not completely healed on my wrist yet so training it progressively Feels good. Whew, yeah. It's been a while. So the grips are almost like this when you form. And you push inwards this way. And then as you push inwards, pull it, pull it over. Real doubts. Okay. 
Go road out. Sick. Finishing up with some hanging leg raises. Working on abs and hip flexes. as you squeeze in your abs, breathe out as you crunch in. Oh. Face pulls. So, I think this is the second workout vlog I've done so far. Training to feel good. Then feel free to follow along. If you're doing like a competition for bodybuilding, then this is probably not something you should follow along because <laughs> I'm training for overall well-being. But yeah, any questions, feel free to ask me along the way. If not, I appreciate you for following me on my journey and I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye.